Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Zuko Mavi. And I'm coming back with another video. Uh, this is just going to be like an overview of my free racing game project. Came through it, just wanted to make like a little arcade racer. My last project ended up getting deleted due to some PC troubles, but it's all good. So, pretty much with this controller, I'm going to just be giving you an overview of everything so you know what it's working with. And then also, unlike the last tutorial, you could download this one because it's using Unity Standard Engine instead of the other controller I was using, which I wasn't able to get free downloads for. So, you can actually download this project, and the link's going to be below. So, first thing I did was I just... So for the boosters, I just added a simple script. Let me pull it up. So pretty much just in a fixed update because for some reason it doesn't work in update. So if you get input that get key code left shift. So whenever you push in left shift, whenever it's pushed down, pretty much what's all this is saying right here is whenever you push the left shift key code. It's going to add whatever thrust is, which is the float that I have up here. So that would be whatever your, your boost level wants to be times that time dot delta time. So it's just going to be constantly increasing by as long as you hold it. And that's pretty much how you get the boost going. So whenever you push shift, it's going to start boosting your car. And then on top of that, I just did a, uh, uh, I got two you know particle systems for the boosters three so you gotta put two, those in there one, go. and align them to your mufflers that's all I did was took them take them and align them from my mufflers and pretty much whenever I'm holding shift so whenever I got shift key down that means boost active is equal to one which means your boost is active and it's gonna set the boosters true, which is the particle systems. And whenever the key is up, boost active is equal to zero. So it's gonna deactivate the boosters. And as well as uh put the field of view back to 70. I also got like a little extra thing. Whenever you're boosting, it's gonna constantly increase the field of view by times that times of time. So it gives you like a little boost effect that's like you're zooming away from the camera. And then that's pretty much it. And I also got a float for fuel, so you can run out of fuel. So as you see, and let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So I got it for fuel right here. So so it's only you're only gonna be able to boost if your fuel is greater than one. And when you're boosting, the fuel is minus ten times time dot delta time. So you're gonna be constantly losing fuel when you're boosting as well. That's kind of like an overview of the booster script. Hopefully it's not too confusing for you. And then for the mouse power and timer script, those are real simple. So I'm just going to pull those up right here. It's just uh, getting a public truck car controller referring back to your car. And then a public text. And then it's just going to be relaying whatever your mouse power, so whatever your current speed is from your car controller. So that's why you got car.currentspeed. And it's gonna pretty much just relay it to text. Simple. And then right here for the timer script, I've got a public text for seconds, a public text for minutes, public float for seconds, public float for minutes. And pretty much right here you got seconds plus time dot time dot delta time. So it's just pretty much gonna be counting up one per second. And then if seconds is greater than or equal to sixty, so just make your own clock pretty much how our clocks work once you reach 60s you add one minute and then the seconds reset back to zero simple simple and then right here it's just relaying the text to the float values so you can keep those so that's the boosters the mouse power and the timer script that's how those work if you guys wanted to know and as you can see it already adds just a little depth to the game Three, on top of two, you know, one, start the Yep. So lastly, or not lastly, next what we got is uh we did the loop-de-loop. -loop. 
So let me show you how it works with no coding. Just trying to go around a loop de loop. We're halfway up. Pretty much just can't make it. So all I did was pretty much the rigid body. It has this uh, bull using gravity. I just, you, whenever you're going around in loop de loop, you're gonna remove that bull of using gravity so it's no longer using gravity. I created two or one script, the gravity trigger. So whenever you enter the trigger, it's gonna remove gravity. And then whenever you exit the other trigger, it's gonna add gravity back. Nice and simple. And let me show you how that looks and how it works. So it's just simple on trigger enter. If the other tag is equal to player, you get the component of the rigid body, and then use gravity equals false, and then same thing, but it's equal to true once you exit. And then also I have a public string, exit or enter, so you can you wouldn't have to make multiple scripts. You just have to, you know what I mean, you have to make a multiple if you didn't have it, you have to make a multiple scripts for exit and entering. This way you could just have it all on one script. So when you're using your exit trigger, you just simply type in a string exit right here. And if you're using your enter trigger, you just simply type in enter. That way you can just use it all on one script. And let me show you. I mean, you already see how that works. And that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? How I designed the map, I use Easy Roads 3D. So I just made a little, you know what I mean, simple map. It's painting some grass, some little hills, and use easy roads to go around the map. If you guys want me to give a tutorial on how to make the maps, I'll let you know. This is a very quick map. It probably took less than like 10, 20 minutes to make. And then, you know what I mean, if you wanted a tutorial or anything else, just let me know. Might be willing to do it. I'm going to be expanding upon this project, making it mobile, for sure making a mobile game. And also converted it to PC. So once it's a uh, mobile controller and my mobile game is done, I'll go ahead and drop updates for that with the mobile controller as well. And I do a video. So I appreciate all my support so far. As always, I'm up to like 700 subscribers. Get up to that thousand mark soon. So I appreciate you guys. If you want some more stuff like this, make sure you like and subscribe. And also be looking out for my RPG. You know what I mean? Nigga ain't getting quit that. So. Be looking out for it. You know, I just be doing little projects here and then. Why, you know, what I mean, to keep my brain working, keep me creative. Not just all focused on one project. So, stay posted on that as well. And peace and bless. Three, two, one.